not know that the unrighteous will not inherit the kingdom of God? Do not be deceived. Neither the sexually immoral, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor men who practice homosexuality, nor thieves, nor the greedy, nor drunkards, nor revilers, nor swindlers will inherit the kingdom of God. Hey everybody, Pastor Kelly coming at you with uh, sort of a somber type video, but yet a truthful video. This is what uh, we have been trying to tell you guys, preach to you folks, for a long time, that the Islam is not the religion of peace, love, and security that everyone portrays it to be. In a lot of these third world countries, like Afghanistan, Islam is just the opposite. It's absolutely just the opposite. I found this uh, article on uh, RT, Russian television, um, which, you know, some like that place, some don't, but they usually have some good information. What it's about is how the Afghanis, a sect of the men, not all, but a large majority of them, use teenage boys for their women. And as we go through this video, I'm going to show you in, uh, exactly what's going on with that. You see, in their culture, women are forbid to dance, let alone be in public without a man or with their skin showing or their face showing, nothing more than their eyes, and in some cases not even their eyes with the burkas they have to wear, which we all know is ludicrous in the begin with. So what do they do? These men, they turn to boys to dress them up like women, to dance for them like women, to put on makeup like women, and to have sex with them like women, although we all know that it's not possible because a man can't have sex with a man like a woman because it doesn't work that way. This documentary is quite sickening, but it's a lot of good research done by uh, Russian television. I'll leave the link after in the comments section. Anyhow about it, 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 there's a whole lot of good work they've done as far as it can be. You can tell the person that done the documentary is not very happy with what he's seeing. He's just recording it. He's documenting it for the world to see. They start by recruiting these children uh, at around age 12, but they start looking at them at a much younger age than that, befriending them, uh, con gaining their confidence, doing things with them, playing games with them, getting them food, winning them over. They know by the time they're at the age that they like them at, which is 12, 13, 14 years old, that now they'll have their confidence. They come from a poor family, and they want the money to pay for their weddings, which in, Af in their culture, the man has to pay for the wedding, and it's very expensive. So they promise them that when they're done with them at age 22, 23, 25, whatever, that uh, they'll pay for their wedding. And this one guy on here, he brags about uh, how well they feed him and dress him. Well, yeah, I guess they do dress them in women's clothing and women's makeup. And they're all very dainty-looking young men. And you see in this picture here, they're they're uh, giving a dance lesson to this 14-year-old boy. It, it, it's really a terrible thing that's going on over there. Uh, and I, I surmise to say it's not just... It's not just, Lord help me, I don't think it's just Afghanistan. I think it's inherent in that culture, the Muslim culture, the way it is, because of how they have went against God's will of a man and a woman by allowing that woman to be with that man. It's how they have taken and downtrodden all the women in their culture to not even be allowed to see their faces, let alone speak outside of the home or with another male present. So they've really done it to themselves that they've done away with women altogether. But here's the thing they forget. Here's the thing they keep forgetting. Those women are what's giving them their boys that they like to turn into women. I, I, you know, it's a vicious circle they have going on over there. And it, it, it is nothing more than a reprobate mind. Nothing more than a reprobate mind. The Bible warns us of this kind of things. And the Bible also warns us that it'll be in the days of Noah or the days of Lot, the end times will be will be upon us. When we see those kind of things coming to pass, look up. Your end is near. 
But the thing of it is, is these poor young men, they don't know any better. They don't, they, they can't get any better, and that's all they got. Our servicemen have been coming back, men and women, have been coming back telling us about this uh, for years, that it was going on, but no one was believing them. They were trying to keep it out of the press. They didn't want any more bad press than they already had, and they tried to warn them. And as I remember an article here a while back, and one service member actually got court-martialed over uh, killing one of these, uh, they call them uh, playboys, the handlers, the pimps, they call them playboys, killing one of these guys over uh, what they was doing, these little boys. It's just, it's just a crying shame, and it certainly, certainly is not a teaching of any god I would want to worship. I mean, their God, or Allah, their their religion is just it's beyond me how they can even be so hardcore in one aspect of it, but yet so loose in another. They speak on this video of how well if they get caught, they would they would get could get killed. And when the Taliban was there, that's on this video, they speak that if uh, they'd have got caught, they'd either got hung or shish kebobbed. I don't know what they meant by that, but they didn't look too good. But, you know, who's to say that uh, it wouldn't happen now if uh, ISIS was to come in there? Uh, which, here again, ISIS is supposedly again all that, but yet they they sell sex slaves. And I'm, from my understanding, part of those slaves are male boys, and some are girls, If I guess, if... Their religion teaches if if uh, you capture a woman in in war, then you you can use her as you will. And I'm not going to start talking how they do, but you basically use them as your whore. Uh, that's how their religion teaches. You know, folks, is this really the kind of thing that you want influence in America? Is this the kind of thing you want filling our countries, our schools? Is this the sort of thing you want? Uh, on your local streets and and walking walking through your supermarket, because when you look at that man that just came over from Afghanistan or Iran, or even Iraq, and he's just been here a few years, he may be only one or two years out of owning him some boys. Now y'all want y'all need to think about that. Is that the kind of guy you want walking past your children's playground? Is that the kind of guy you want going to your kindergartner's Christmas play or whatever play? They don't have those anymore. Whatever play. Is is that is that what y'all really want? Well, that's what we're asking for. That's what we're asking for. And, you know, Europe's already seeing it. They're already seeing what's going on in Germany. Uh, you know, Muslim men, well, they figure those women in Germany are, are their concubines, seeing how they're getting ready to take over Germany. So they're they're ripe for the picking. They just they take them if they want them. Well, that's until they get tired of the women, because obviously in this movie they don't like women. They flat out admit they don't like women. They prefer boys. So when they get tired of chasing those European women, what's going to happen? Well, they're going to start chasing your little boys. And you know, folks, I bet we're only one year, maybe two years out. If the Lord don't come back first, we're only one or two years out of that happening here in America. Y'all really need to think about, is this the kind of people you want scoping out your child's playground? Then he tries to win their confidence. Awful nice, aren't they? That's how they start. That's how they start. That's how they break yourself in. I'm not going to show you everything else in this video. I will link it, though. I, I It was hard enough for me to set through it for, I think it's 27, 28 minutes long. I mean, I was gritting my teeth and, and holding my Bible and, and, and asking the Lord to please help these little boys. But I, you, I, I suggest that you folks do. I suggest to every one of you watch it and think about it. Every time you guys get out there preaching Chrislam, Every time you guys get out there saying, oh, they're just immigrants. No, they're not. These are the type of people you're bringing in, folks. These are the type of people you're bringing in and you're asking to come into our country. They don't just want our country. They want our little boys for their toys. And that's exactly what they would have, too, in a few years. Well, I just thought I'd throw this out here. It's not normally something I would... Uh, 
put on my channel, but I, I had to I had to get it out. The Lord brought, it, it brought it on me to bring it out. It put it on me to bring it put it out. I seen it and it just it just went all through me. The scripture at the beginning of this, First uh, Corinthians six uh, ten through uh, nine through ten, it, it says it all. Uh, you folks, think about it, pray on it, and pass this video around. God bless you, everyone. We love you, but Jesus loves you more. Pastor Kelly signing off.